In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a guide on how to gain Twitter followers in 2019 to help your brand gain exposure and market yourself the most effective way possible. Now, marketing is a numbers game. You got to reach as many people as possible. And in order to do this, you need to engage, engage, and spread positive vibes all around and just be overall a friendly person because it is social media, okay? Now, basically, there's three key ingredients, hashtags, DMing people, and what you post with the correct hashtags. Now, first, we're going to dig into hashtags. Now, it works differently for everybody. You need to find hashtags that apply to whatever you're doing, whether you're marketing yourself for a business, for a YouTube channel, whatever it could be, you need to find the right hashtags for that. I go under hashtag vloggers and I get all these different posts of people that could be hashtag vloggers or hashtag interested in vloggers, whatever it is. And now is your chance to engage with these people and take your time engaging with them. Maybe you can make a new connection. Maybe you can make a new friend out of this. Maybe you think that guy's food looks really good and you could tell him that. Maybe you could even go out of your way and watch his video. If you want to do that, only if you want to, you shouldn't do this as a technique. You should do this because you're an overall friendly person trying to spread positive vibes. But never, 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 never advertise your shit to these people because you're trying to make friends with them and my phone's ringing again god damn it now that kind of goes in with my number two which was genuinely engaged with people i didn't realize my number one i pretty much ended up saying that but yeah by genuinely engaging with these people more and more you start to become the life of the party and not an actual party but the twitter party and this is where you want to get more engagement. You get what you give in this. And that's the beauty of it. As long as you spend your time consistently giving, you may never get the equal amount back, but you will get back if it's not a technique. You just give for giving. And that's about it. And number three is do this consistently. If you keep doing this consistently, it will build and build. And I know from sometimes with my Twitter thing, not being consistent has really frigged me over in the long run. But when you are consistent, magical things will happen. Now on to messaging people. Messaging people on Twitter is so important. And every time you gain a new follower, you should try to engage and have a conversation with them. Now, I know eventually you'll have a lot of conversations going and it will be hard to keep up. But sometimes just sending two or three messages a day, showing that person that you care, showing that person you're genuinely interested in what they are doing, is really a great way to build that friendship. You want to build it more and more over time. Like building a friendship in real life. It doesn't just take a day and you can't just copy and paste messages. You've got to actually fully try to make that friend with that person. So really, just start putting yourself out there, messaging more people consistently. Maybe make a goal of message 10 new people a day. That's a lot. Maybe you're not gaining that many followers a day. Okay, maybe you gain two followers a day. Okay, message those two people every day. And over the course of 30 days, you will have messaged 60 new people. And out of those 60 people, you could meet 10 amazing people that stood out out of those 60. And out of those 10 amazing people, maybe five of them will end up supporting something that you do. But maybe they won't. But you will still build an amazing Twitter community along the way, which it's all just a bonus anyways. Now the next thing is posting using few relevant hashtags. Now I'll give you an example where I was trying to share my YouTube channel. It was getting close to 1200 subscribers. So I put, let's push 1200 subscribers and make sure you hit that bell, blah, blah, blah. I put my YouTube channel and I put hashtag YouTuber, hashtag small YouTuber and hashtag subscribe. Now if anybody goes for those hashtags, well, this post got 20 likes, which I know isn't a lot for a Twitter following of 5k, 
but on Twitter, you don't get as much engagement on each individual post because there are so many tweets and so much information on Twitter. People are posting 10 times a day sometimes. It's not like Instagram. In Instagram is totally different than Twitter. Now the thing is, people can go to these hashtags and as you start to use them more often, you start to dominate in those hashtags and you start to show up higher. So therefore, new people who are looking up these hashtags will always have the chance to find you. And that is where the growth happens. Now I know it might sound annoying, but you should be tweeting at least three times a day. Three times is like the minimum, and sometimes I don't even stick to that because I haven't been very consistent these days. But when you're posting three times a day, maybe one in the morning, one at lunchtime, one in the afternoon, try to post the most high quality stuff you can, of course. You don't want to just post like, I ate a chicken burger, wow. Like, you kind of want to keep it as interesting as you can. Now if you do these three things, hashtags, messaging people, what you post with the correct hashtags, then your Twitter following will grow over time and you will get more engagements as well, which can help promote your brand, your YouTube channel, whatever it is. And if you guys ever need anything, follow my Twitter account at saucy underscore sarcasm. And I will personally DM you if you need any tips at all, because I love helping out. And I hope you guys have a good day. Leave a like on this video if it's been helpful at all. And until next time, bye.